Microsoft SQL Server Index Architecture. SQL Server indexes are implemented as a type of balanced tree, or B-tree structure. Similar in concept to a tree, the B-tree diagram consists of a root, non-leaf level, and leaf level. However, in B-tree diagrams, the tree analogy is inverted. Indexes have a single root page. SQL Server always uses this as the starting point for traversing an index. In an index tree, all the index levels above the leaf level, including the root, are known as the non-leaf levels. The leaf level is the bottom level of the index structure. It contains key value index entries that either reference rows in the data pages or complete data rows. SQL Server supports two types of indexes, clustered and non-clustered. Both types of indexes have similar B-tree structures. In a clustered index, the leaf level is the actual data page. For a table with a clustered index, data is physically stored on a data page in ascending order. The order of the values in the index pages is also ascending. SQL Server internally maintains uniqueness of key values for a clustered index, even if the column data is not unique. It does this automatically by generating a value that is stored with the duplicate key value. For example, when the first instance of Jones is entered, all key values are still unique. When subsequent values of Jones are entered, SQL Server generates an internal number that it uses to maintain uniqueness among these duplicate keys. This enables SQL Server to differentiate between all instances of Jones. Let's take a closer look at how SQL Server navigates a clustered index. In this example, a clustered index is built on the last name column. The query is searching for rows where last name is equal to Rudd. SQL Server starts at the root page. It evaluates whether Rudd is greater than or equal to the key value Actar. The comparison evaluates to true and SQL Server moves to the next key value. SQL Server evaluates whether Rudd is greater than or equal to the key value Martin. The comparison evaluates to true and is the last key value on the page. SQL Server moves to the page at the next level to which the key value Martin points. SQL Server evaluates whether Rudd is greater than or equal to the key value Martin. The comparison evaluates to true, and SQL Server moves to the next key value. SQL Server evaluates whether Rudd is greater than or equal to the key value Smith. The comparison evaluates to false. SQL Server uses the previous key value, Martin, and moves to the page at the next level to which the key value, Martin, points. SQL Server reads through the data page until it finds Rudd. It then returns the row to the query processor. Now let's take a look at non-clustered indexes. Non-clustered indexes have the same B-tree structure as clustered indexes with one significant difference. The leaf level of a non-clustered index contains key values, not the actual data. These key values map to pointers or clustering keys that locate rows in the data pages. The implementation of a non-clustered index depends on whether the data pages of a table are managed as a heap or as a clustered index. In a non-clustered index built on a heap, SQL Server uses pointers in the leaf level index pages that point to rows in the data pages. If you have a table with a clustered index, SQL Server builds the non-clustered indexes on top of the clustered index structure. In a non-clustered index built on a clustered index, SQL Server uses clustering keys in the leaf level pages of the non-clustered index to point to the clustered index. Now let's take a closer look at how SQL Server navigates a non-clustered index on a heap. In this example, a non-clustered index has been created on the last name column. The query is searching for rows where last name is equal to Rudd. SQL Server starts at the root level of the non-clustered index. It evaluates whether Rudd is greater than or equal to the key value Actar. The comparison is true 
and SQL Server moves to the next key value. SQL Server evaluates whether RUD is greater than or equal to the key value Martin. The comparison is true. Martin is the last key value on the page and evaluates to true. As a result, SQL Server moves to the next level to which the key value Martin points. SQL Server evaluates whether RUD is greater than or equal to the key value Martin. The comparison is true, and SQL Server moves to the next key value. SQL Server evaluates whether RUD is greater than or equal to the key value Smith. The comparison is false. SQL Server uses the previous key value Martin and moves to the page at the next level to which the key value Martin points. SQL Server reads through the leaf page to find RUD and then uses the pointer to locate the data page in which the key value is equal to RUD. SQL Server returns this row to the query processor. Now let's take a look at how SQL Server navigates a non-clustered index using a clustering key. In this example, a non-clustered index has been created on the member number column. The table has a clustered index defined on the last name column. The query is searching for member numbers that are equal to 6078. SQL Server starts at the root level of the non-clustered index. It evaluates whether 6078 is greater than or equal to the key value 1234. The comparison is true, and SQL Server moves to the next key value. SQL Server evaluates whether 6078 is greater than or equal to the key value 5678. The comparison is true. 5678 is the last key value on the page and evaluates to true. As a result, SQL Server moves to the next level to which the key value 5678 points. SQL Server evaluates whether 6078 is greater than or equal to the key value 5678. The comparison is true, and SQL Server moves to the next key value. SQL Server evaluates whether 6078 is greater than or equal to the key value 7678. The comparison is false. SQL Server uses the previous key value 5678 and moves to the page at the next level to which the key value 5678 points. SQL Server reads through the leaf level pages until it finds the key value 6078. This key value maps to the clustering key value RUD. SQL Server uses this value to navigate through the clustered index from the root level to retrieve the row in which RUD is the last name. In summary, the leaf level of a clustered index is the actual data page. Data is physically stored on a data page in ascending order. The leaf level of a non-clustered index contains key values, not the actual data. These key values map to pointers or clustering keys that locate rows in the data pages.